Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a, another video. Question for you to start. Do you celebrate yourself? Do you celebrate your accomplishments? Do you celebrate your achievements, even if they're small, especially if they're small? Do you celebrate the small wins in your life? If you're on a weight loss journey, do you celebrate when you went to the gym four or five days this week or whatever your goal was? Do you celebrate when you're like, man, I drank way more water this week? Do you celebrate when you didn't eat out that much this week, if that was one of your goals? The little wins that you celebrate along the way to the bigger goal and vision are so incredibly important, so incredibly important. So please, this is your reminder to make sure that you are celebrating yourself and the small wins. Obviously, there's more to that that we're gonna talk about. As the saying goes, the journey is the destination. So if the journey is the destination, it would make sense that we wanna celebrate each step we take along the journey on the way to the destination that we're going. You wanna celebrate the small wins because what you're doing when you do that and the small, these little victories and things like, oh, I just started a new job and I got my first sale. Or, oh my gosh, you know, I've been planning on going on a vacation and I did really good sticking to my budget and saving an extra three, 400 bucks or whatever it is this month so I can go on my trip. You wanna celebrate those small wins. When you celebrate the small wins, this is you validating yourself and your efforts, which will build even more positive momentum. This is you creating momentum and reinforcing your self-worth and the energy and effort that you've been putting into achieving whatever it is you're trying to achieve. It's very important that you do this. When you don't validate yourself or your accomplishments, maybe you're someone who, and, I, and why am I sharing this? Because man, this, is, this was me. Even when I, you know, whatever, for a lot of people it was, um, you know, or it is a big accomplishment to get like your college degree or even high school, your high school diploma. I didn't celebrate or care at all when I graduated high school or even college, like whatever, I have a couple bachelor's degrees, I didn't even care. It To me, there was a lot of reasons though, I didn't really, I just kind of went through school, I don't know, that's a whole other story. But I didn't really celebrate myself and I never really had up until recently really, and by that I mean the past probably like two years or so, like majority of my life. I would just achieve something or do something or, you know, in the eyes of a lot of people, and I wouldn't even celebrate myself at all, ever. So why didn't I do this? I didn't validate myself or my accomplishments because for me it was a trauma response. And this is probably you if you were raised in a household where you had parents that were either super hard on you and nothing was ever good enough. Was that you? Your parents super hard on you, you get an A minus and they go, could it should have gotten A, could have gotten A, you didn't do good enough. Or so nothing was ever good enough. Or like you would go to a freaking, I don't know, tennis tournament and you place the second and they would be like, dude, you're, oh my God, what do we train for? It is just terrible no matter how good you did. Or even if you did get first place and you won this like huge tennis tournament and you felt really good and your parents were like, well, there's another level. This is only kids that are in this region. You're still not at the top. So like nothing you did was good enough. You were constantly invalidated. So if you grew up like that, it can be very hard to celebrate your accomplishments because you're basically, we're being programmed to say, you're not good enough no matter what you do, whatever you do in anything and everything you do, it's never good enough. Therefore, you as a being, as a human, as a soul, you're never good enough no matter what you do. So if you have trouble celebrating your accomplishments, especially the, even the small, well, like if you have trouble celebrating yourself at all, but it's definitely apparent in like big wins, you just got a big promotion or a new job or uh, you know, you just made a huge breakthrough in your business and hit a whole new revenue goal for the month or the year, whatever it is, and you can't celebrate it, you were probably told from a very young age, probably most likely your parents, that nothing was ever good enough, that you're, and therefore you're not good enough no matter what you do. So you were programmed with that 
And so this is so toxic. It's so bad for us because it's so incredibly draining and you're actually doing stuff for validation from other people rather than listening to what you want and validating yourself. You have low self-worth and, and you're insecure even though regardless of what your resume shows, you never feel good enough. This is why it's so important to celebrate our small wins because you're healing that part of yourself that was never validated. You're healing your self-worth by giving yourself the love and attention the respect, the appreciation that you were never given as a kid. So you're, by validating your small accomplishments, are healing that part of yourself by validating yourself all along the way. So it's a trauma response. So if you were, again, someone who grew up and you got an A minus or you got a 3.8, but your parents just shamed you and didn't say, great job, like 3.8 is good and we can do better, but I'm glad you got a 3.8, that's great. You know, that's a very healthy way to go about it. If it was like, oh man, you got 3.8, you can get a 4.0, like what's wrong with you? And then you get a 4.0 and they go, well, you're not even in any honors or AP classes. Like where's the 4.2, where's the 4.3? Like you're not gonna get in the school you want, that's not good enough. This is you, right? Or you got first place at this karate tournament, but it was only your city tournament. It wasn't statewide or nationals, you're not good enough at karate. So therefore you're not good enough. This is you, this is why it's important. You've got to heal that part of yourself by celebrating the small wins. This builds positive momentum in your life. This helps you heal your self-worth, your self-esteem, your self-confidence because you're giving yourself the appreciation, respect, love, attention, et cetera, that you never got by being invalidated no matter how good of things you did. Very important. I had a client that I used to work with, um, personal training. This guy is literally the top 1% in his field. He is a tenured professor at a major university in San Diego. Literally, I mean it. In the top 1% world-renowned names in his field. If you look up his field of study, he's like the authority on his subject. And um, we talked about how he would write these huge, you know, he's written so many books on the subject and all these things and he would literally be the head speaker at these international symposiums talking about you know, his subject and his field in front of the world's foremost experts in this field. And he like thought nothing of it or you know what I mean? No validation, nothing was ever good enough. And he is someone, and we we'll always talk about this, he would talk about his therapist and we would talk about it too, about how no matter what he did, no matter how big the accomplishment or how much validation he got, he just disregarded it all and just would just immediately move on to something else, never giving himself time to appreciate his hard work. Because again, it was a trauma response, right? He came from a military family, so he's always told that nothing is ever good enough. This isn't good enough. You're not good enough. And so what happens when you never think you're good enough, you're just going, 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 going. You're doing, 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 doing. Well, what's doing, 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 and going, going, going without rest, without celebration? It's burnout, it's anxiety, it's overwhelm. And this is how it'll manifest in your life. So it's very important that you practice validating yourself, your self-worth, your small accomplishments because you're validating your self-worth. You're healing your self-worth. You're giving yourself permission to slow down, relax to be recognized, not in an egotistical way, I'm better than you, but to give yourself your own validation, to know that your efforts are going somewhere. They're moving you forwards towards your dream. And when you also do this, not only are you healing your self-worth and you're healing that validation, appreciation, and respect for yourself, you're avoiding burnout. You're not moving on to one thing or the next, or you're not killing yourself for not burning the midnight oil for the past three weeks nonstop to get to this goal. You're not doing that. You're giving yourself saying, man, okay, I deserve a break, man. I did great. That was awesome. Like I'm in no rush. I don't need to rush on to something else. I don't have to prove anything. And also, so not only does it help you heal your self-worth and prevent burnout, it gives you the motivation to keep going forward also, and it helps you create a balanced approach to where you're not gonna be overwhelmed and anxious and like feeling the need to just go, go, go. You're not gonna burn out. Your energy reserves are gonna replenish. You're physically, mentally, and emotionally gonna be sharper. You're gonna be stronger. You're gonna be better. So you've gotta validate these small successes. By validating yourself with small wins, you're honoring and building your self-worth 
which will support you in reaching the end result. You avoid the burnouts. It lets you know you're going in the right direction. My One of my really close friends, one of my best friends, uh, he is a financial advisor. He's like one of these guys that, right, his dad was a financial advisor. He grew up, you know, he's like 12 years old, like, you know, hustling, buying vending machines, right? Like that guy. And we're the same age and he's probably one of the wealthiest, not probably, I know he's one of the wealthiest people that I know. People, man or woman, regardless of age or anything, we're the same age, like late 30s. And he is, who knows how wealthy. He's very wealthy, very wealthy guys. And he would give me, and we've talked about money and like how I've mismanaged my money and how to fix it and stuff. And what he told me was, he's like, as you start to make a lot of money this time, Pierce, he's like, don't go in this like extreme mode where you're making all this money and you're just saving and you're living like this barren lifestyle and you're not going out and like buying yourself a nice pair of shoes every once in a while or like a nice dinner or something. He's like, you have to have balance because it's going to tip the scales. If you just sit there and you just go so hard and you're just saving money, but you never enjoy anything, you're not one enjoying the journey, enjoying the process, right? But you will burn out. And then all of a sudden you'll go, oh, I'm going crazy. I have all this money saved up and you'll end up repeating the same cycle and blowing it, which is what I did in the past. So he told me this and he's like, dude, you need to slow down. You need to chill. Like, make sure you're having some balance. Like, great, you saved whatever, a couple thousand bucks and that was your goal or you paid a, uh, this debt off. He's like, you have to go celebrate that. Go out to a nice dinner, dude. Plan a trip, like, you know, whatever. Buy yourself a jacket or whatever it is that will just validate you. Like me, it's funny, I don't really care about material possessions anymore. But that's a whole nother discussion, but do something to validate myself, right? And so um, for me, I don't know, I would like, probably just take myself out to like a little dinner like the other day just little things like I want I went out to lunch and just had like a club sandwich and fries and like a little cocktail and like a, a Moscow mule and I was like and I didn't even drink that much but I just like wanted to validate myself because I'm having I'm experiencing in the middle of another nice win which is moving into my new apartment on the journey of this greater vision I'm creating but it's cool because everything is falling into place and these little bookmark benchmarks I had is all right, move to a new city, get a good job, get good, get some good money coming in, get into a nice apartment, really make it home. That's where I'm at. Then we're going to launch our small business. We're going to continue to do these other things. So everything's moving according to plan, but I'm celebrating along the way. And it feels so freaking good. Like it's really cool when you take time to celebrate yourself and slow down and these small steps along the way. Cause not only does it again, help you avoid burnout, improve your self-worth but then it gives you motivation it keeps you inspired going towards you and it also lets you know you're in alignment everything's falling into place so celebrate your small wins guys that's what today's video is about celebrate yourself is what it's really about celebrate and give yourself time and space to appreciate you for all that you're doing for you for your life and those around you the quotes i'll leave you with today when we fail to acknowledge and celebrate small victories, we get discouraged and the flame inside us starts to dwindle. Piggybacks off what I was saying, right? Next one. If you really look closely, most overnight successes took a long time. That's how it happens, right? The people that you see have these like hits, uh, you know, like that song by like Tommy Richmond, right? Um, you, you know, he's got a couple jams right now. And if you don't know, just type in Tommy Richmond. It's like this like, vibey sexy like r&b he's got a couple jams but um they're blowing up right now but i saw something about like he's been doing music for i don't know 15 years or whatever it is right and then all of a sudden only now after 15 years is he having his overnight success but i bet you had a lot of small victories and a lot of momentum so this is a journey we're on guys and it takes a long time but we've got to make sure we're validating ourselves to keep us motivated and avoid burnout along the way and then the last quote is, little victories lead to bigger victories that affect battles that eventually win the war. Winning begins small. And think about that, all the major wars, it wasn't just one big fight and it's over. It's a series of strategy that have gone on over years. These little victories over, oh, we moved up here in this position, now we've taken over this town in this position, now we've done this. I don't like to use that example because I'm all about peace and not really fighting and I think they're pretty ridiculous as they're mostly just people in power having ego trips and arguing with each other and about who's right and whose territory or resources this is. But that's an editorial that's for another time or not really for another time. But anyways, the point remains, 
Your greatest victory achieving that ultimate vision is a series of small successes. And if you don't validate yourself and success, uh, celebrate the small successes along the way, well, you're invalidating your own efforts. You're going to get burnt out. You're going to lose the motivation, the inspiration to keep you going. Celebrate yourself. You deserve it. You've worked hard as hell. You're doing things that no one else is doing. And how do I know that? Because you're watching this video. What am I referring to? You're working on yourself. You're looking at the hard truths. You're trying to understand yourself and your behaviors and how you can change them in order to create a better life for yourself. You're working on yourself. You're still taking care of others around you, all your responsibilities. Validate yourself. If you don't or you feel uncomfortable, it's a trauma response. You never felt like you were worthy because you were programmed that you weren't worthy and nothing you did was ever good enough. So this is how you begin to heal that. And it will just create so much more of a positive power and momentum and love and abundance and magnetism that you will attract into your life. Because when you're vibing on a high positive vibration, you're validating yourself and you can see the fruits of your efforts even in small ways. That magnetism, that appreciation for yourself, you're attracting and snowballing the positive energy and momentum of manifestation coming at you. Because you don't get what you want, you get who you are. So if you keep validating who you are, that worthiness, your effort, you will begin to create a snowball effect in your life and heal that trauma of not being loved and not being good enough because you are loved and you are good enough just the way that you are, even if you're not doing anything. You're the same as everybody else. Don't let anybody tell you anything was. So I, that's what I got for you today. Celebrate your small wins. Validate yourself. It's very important. Love you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you again for your support, your feedback. Hopefully this video and these videos bring you a little bit of value. If it does, please like and subscribe and share it if you feel that someone else needs to hear this message. Love you guys a ton. See you on the next video. Peace.